Hi right, guys, welcome to Classic uh, Sitcom Facts and Trivia. Uh, before we get started, as you please subscribe, please share these out. Uh, today's video is on Natalie Schaefer, who played Lovey Howell on Gilligan's Island. And uh, just how rich was she in real life? Take a look. According to journalist Lauren Novak, and do you remember, uh, when shows as big as Gilligan's Island play reruns for decades, you might think that the stars are really rich. Fortunately for the cast of Gilligan's Island, did not make much money off the reruns. Only one cast member was a millionaire in real life, and that was Natalie Schaefer, who played Lovey Howell. Problem was most stars didn't realize that shows would live on for so long, Novak noted. Stan Wells, who played Mary Ann, once said, a misconception is that we must be wealthy, rolling in the dough, because we got residuals. We didn't really get a dime. I think my salary, of course. I was low on the totem pole. Uh, Ginger, Tina Louise, and Thurston, Jim Backus got more. Uh, it was $750 a week. Sherwood Schwartz, our producer, reportedly made $90 million on reruns alone. Other cast members made their money on the shows. On other shows, Novak continued to report. Natalie and her husband made millions selling real estate. They invested in Beverly Hills real estate when it was inexpensive and later sold it for a pretty penny. Meanwhile, according to Gilligan historian Lonnie Dorn, Lovey is actually not Mrs. Howe's first name. Lovey was just a pet name. Mr. Howe referred to her as. Uh, in the episode where they are listening to a radio news broadcast where the announcer is reporting the pastor who married them and other high-profile couples was actually a fraud and they weren't legally married after all. Uh, the reporter lists some of the couple's names. Thurston Howell III, and Eunice Wentworth. A documented on IMDb.com, Schaefer had said she initially did the pilot to Gilligan's Island for the free trip to Hawaii. Afterwards, she was in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, on a holiday when she got a telegram from the States. She read it and burst into tears. Everyone had thought Schaefer's mother, who was ill at the time, had died, offered their condolences, but Schaefer had said, no, she didn't die. The reason she was crying was the pilot for Gilligan's Island was sold and she had to stay in L.A. and could not move back to New York City. As IMDB um, documents, uh, Schaefer was engaged to comedy act, character actor Charles Butterworth in 1946 at the time of his tragic death in a single automobile accident. She'd undergone a double mastectomy and had played Mrs. Lovey Howe on four different editions of Gilligan's franchise. Gilligan's Island, The New Adventures of Gilligan, Gilligan's Planet, and the various TV reunion movies. Her parents, Jenny Elizabeth uh, and Charles Emmanuel Schaefer, were both from Jewish families from Germany and England. And she was actually a little over 12 years older than her co-star Jim Backus when she played his wife, uh, Lovey Howe. As IMDb explains, although Schaefer's contract included clauses forbidding certain close-ups and physical movements uh, due to her age. She insisted that her uh, obituary disclose her real age. Uh, she said she wanted people to say she was how old? As fate would have it, Schaefer was the first woman cast member of Gilligan's Island to pass away. As reported, Lauren Novak concluded on Do You Remember? When Schaefer died in 91, she reportedly left a large amount of her money to her beloved poodle because she didn't have any children. When her poodle passed away, too, the rest of the money went to the motion picture and television hospital. Uh, they reportedly received millions and renamed a wing in her honor. Leaving money to a poodle. Uh, I'm just going to leave that right there. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. It's a really good one today. Head on over there and please subscribe while you're over there. And uh, have a great day. God bless you and be praying for you.